Good morning, folks, and welcome to the Lars Shell Farm. Here we are Sunday morning, I think like April 3rd, 4th, whatever it is. Uh, guess what? She is done. Don't mind me. I shaved my head today. It's a little bit chilly out, so she's pretty much done. The only thing I need to do is just add some water to the tank. I peeled the plastic off the Formica, li the Formica, Formica lining for the poop boards here. Um, I'll zoom back a little bit so that you can see it. So the tank. Shut off valve, this loop will come down and it just keeps dropping into each pen. Then it's gonna flow back around up here and drops in the top. I use a small aquarium pump for that. Let me show you the inside. Zach, if you happen to see these, see these things? Best thing ever for the quail. I know you like those water troughs, but to me, these horizontal nipples, the cleanest way to get water to your birds. I've got five in each pen. Down at that end, you can see I've got the feeders mounted down there. I left my doors in one piece for now. Um, I just need to come up with something to hold these in. I think I'm gonna drill a hole here and just put a peg in so that it can't get pushed out. Egg catch tray here. I still have a couple more to do, but I don't have anywhere near the amount of birds to fill this up yet. But I just wanted to show you the setup here completed for my new little quail venture. You can kind of see, I almost changed the design. Each time I built one, this one was two by six, then uh, this one was two by four, I notched it down. Anyways, I ended up changing it a little bit from time to time saying, well, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? But uh, I finally got her figured out and that's it. Nothing fancy, almost very similar to that setup over there, but just on a larger scale. And these are based off of uh, the My Shire Farm cages. What I could see with my own little tweaks on it. I think this should work out well. I guess time will tell. I've got a drain down at the bottom. I'm going to go through and flush the system out. But, oh, these T's are the cat's meow for hooking up horizontal nipples. And if you don't like the nipples with these T's, it's just as easy to unscrew them. Put water cups in if you choose. Very easy to do that way. Now, if these drip a lot onto this wood, I'm gonna bend me a little drip cap down here in aluminum just to divert the water off of that. But they're actually, uh, except for the winter time, they don't really drip. Uh, in the winter time, the, they'll ice up just a tad on the outside. So for those of you in cold weather climates, I'll drop a stock tank de-icer in there. Once the water starts, uh, uh, once the weather starts getting too cold, drop it in there and that, uh, that aquarium pump will just keep all the water circulating and thawed for the good old birdos but final video here on this i may do a, a short one once i get some birds in here i'm done this was uh this was a little bit of work so it wasn't the easiest project i ever did by any means um it's definitely not the hardest but it took a little bit of time i hope you enjoyed my little venture in documenting my build but that's it now I got to straighten out the barn. I've got the hay over here now because this was the whole goat pen before. Some feed, hay. So I'll straighten everything out. My next project, I think is going to be a stack brooder that I make. So keep tuned for that. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions on my setup or ideas, um, feel free to reach out. I try to be very responsive to anybody that asks questions or comments. And uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of uh, your weekend. Have a good one.